All right, this is another type of uh, equation that involving the uh, the use of logarithms. All right, uh, there are some involving changing of base, and this type is involving uh, using the log for both sides. Okay, why we need to use uh, logarithm for both sides to help us solve this equation is because that uh, the the base are different, right? Yeah. For example, you have 2 to the power of 2x equals to uh, 64, right? 64 to the power of uh, x plus 2, for example. So, this case, so because these two, we don't need to use log. If, if you want to use log, both sides also can. So, but uh, for this case, we can just uh, change to 2 to the power of 6, right? Uh, 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, right? Uh, 2 to the power of 4 is uh, 16, and 2 to the power of 5 is 32. Of course, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, right? So, in the 2 to the power of 6, x plus 2, right? So, you can write, so can you see that the base are the same? So, we don't need to use the log to help to solve, to bring the power down. We can just directly compare that 2x equals to 6x plus 12. 6 plus, uh, plus 12 then you solve then you get the value of x which is uh, negative 4x equals to 12 so it goes to negative 3 right so this is uh, what you learn uh, if if possible we try not to use log both sides right because uh, for example this case right for example this case uh, this one very easy because they can convert to the same base uh, so now let's look at how to solve this type of equation, which uh, is base 2, this is base 3. <coughs> so if this case happened, we always used to put log base 10, okay? Lg is represent log base 10, 2 to the power of 3x minus 4. We add a log both sides. Uh, so this is the most important thing that you must remember. So you put log both sides. So for now, then why you put log? Because so that you can bring the power to the front, become product of this whole thing with the number log 2. So then this one also, you can bring the x plus 1, go to the front and log 3, right? Uh, this is the purpose so that you can make it become an equation so that you can find the value of x. So now you have 3 log 2. Uh, remember, 3 log 2 is a number. Right? Multiply with x minus with 4 multiply with log 2. Alright? Uh, just expand as usual. It's just actually a linear equation now. It's a you deal with linear equation. So minus 4 log 2 equals to <coughs> uh, expand equals to log 3. This is a number, so we group it and we put x. It's better for you to put a bracket because it the x may be you may, you may you may interpret wrongly right so you put this is a number in front of x the coefficient plus with log three so now the one with x we're going to group together right so i'm going to group three log two x positive negative log three x right log 3x and you're going to bring this one that independent of x without the x go to the right hand side so log 3 plus with 4 log 2 all right so you can factorize the x out you can factorize the x out it still have 3 log 2 minus with log 3 right factorize the x and have 3 log 2 minus log 3 which equals to log 3 plus with 4 times log 2. x multiplied with this whole thing. So you want to find x, you're going to bring all this go to the other side. Multiply, you divide both sides by this. So you have log 3 plus with 4 log 2 divide by 3 log 2 minus with log 3. Uh, then you can easily use calculator to get your answer. So you have uh, 3 log 10, uh, 3 plus with 4 
4 log base 10 base 10 2 divided by 3 log base 10 2 all right uh, minus with log base 10 3 right uh, you key in exactly as this log uh, log 3 plus 4 log 2 base 10 3 log 2 base 10 minus log 3 base 10 then you i think you will get a decimal so which gives you 3.947 all right in three decimal places it will be 3.947 so your answer will be 3.947. Okay, this the most important is to remember the, the the step, right? The method using to solve this type of equation. Alright, let's look at the next video for the next example.